arm because you're good at what you do. So tonight we're up here in the Bola house and um, I didn't know, but I guess I was designated to um, operate this gadget right there. So what we're doing is putting the panels back in. So after, after the break, we're gonna be moving this bottom panel. <clears throat> Open up this gate. And I'm gonna control this frame right there. Took me there. Pretty simple. To be honest, I never ran this before. I didn't tell the foreman that I know how to run this, so I've ran this stuff before. I told him I'll help out. I guess helping out in his mind was. Go up to the top floor, the 13th floor, and help them out. <laughs> Little do I know, the help out mean that I'm gonna be operating this thing right here. And I'm gonna be maneuvering the panel in beyond this barrier, feeding it to the tube welders down there and the fitters. And they're gonna shimmy it in place as I control the crane, lifting it, moving it forward, moving it back until they slide it right in place. And basically what they're doing, you can see those wings that's hanging off the side of the tube. What's going on, they drop a piece of all thread that's threaded on each end. Put a bolt at the bottom, a bolt at the top, and that's what's holding the panel in. You got one, two, and you got three. And then we will we'll actually, uh, and then we will release the crane, release the panel, move another one in, put one at the bottom, and do it all over again. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. And each panel is going to be welded on to one of these tubes right here that's hanging down. Let's see if we can get a better shot. There you go, all over the tube. That's going to be getting welded. So here. One, two, three, four. This will be directly at the bottom. And then you have a couple right at the top. Total, a total new space for me. I mean, hey, you never know. You never know what they're going to be asking you to do on these different jobs, but everybody's needed everywhere. One thing I can say about a tube job, you don't really see a lot of fitters, at least not on this job. Tube welders, they do the fitting, sometimes the rigging, but for the most part, you don't really need a fitter. You really don't. At least not on this job. Well, other than that, you're having a good night. Let's see if we can get a nighttime view. Woo! Woo! thing about night shift it's definitely calmer not a lot of people not a lot of stress but taking it easy so when y'all get out here you got something to look forward to just getting it done and this is how it is in the field. So I guess we'll see you guys around for the next one, for the next video. Let's go.
you got it going on at night. Dangerous one. Guys, it's real in the field. Say no to drugs, guys. Say no to drugs. in the hell. Sometimes night should make you go to sleep early. Hey, what can you say? I guess it's time. That boy out, ain't he? Say no to drugs, baby. Hard up on it tonight. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. I'm playing an operator. Easy money. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Shit. Man, mama, you want to fall down here. Yeah, so I'm out here working this outage, this bowl or tube outage, um, on night shift, working a uh, 5 p.m. to uh, 3.30 a.m. Listen, if you guys are interested in running these bowl or tube outages, just be aware that when you are uh, working these outages, depending on how big the job is, you're going to be doing way more than what you expect to be doing. For an example, they hire you to weld two, correct? Right. You might weld two the first couple weeks, but if you had a really big outage, you're going to stop, you're going to remove panels, you're going to be prepping the tubes, you're going to be operating that uh, crane like you saw me operating. You're gonna be doing all sorts of stuff other than well. And it might get frustrating. And maybe a week or two or three into the outage, you might say, man, I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> and, and end up dragging up. 
couple guys did that last week. A couple guys did that this morning. And today's gonna be my last day. <laughs> I've been out here four weeks. And uh, man, it's just non base. All the push, push, push. Go, go, go. Move out of the way. I got it. Uh, that's it for the birds, you know. Those of you guys out there who used to going on a job, it might be new construction, it might not be new construction, it might be a, a project where you're doing an add-on, but the point I'm making is, if you're used to going off with a fitter and a helper, going to a designated spot of the plant and working, and making your pipe welds and things of that nature, your soccer welds, if that's what you're used to, coming out here to these boiler tube outages, it's nothing like that. Nothing like that. What they're gonna deem you as is a boiler maker. A lot of you guys out there in the field, you know, when they link up, when they uh, separate the crabs, you got the electricians, you got the, uh, the scaffold builders, you got the, you name it. But you always hear about the boiler makers. I'm a boiler maker, I'm a boiler maker. Yeah, that's what you're gonna be. They're gonna give you a boiler maker sticker and you're gonna be a boiler maker. And you gotta watch for these uh, companies who don't give you all the details. They'll just hire you, not giving you no details, and you'll be doing all sorts of things that you probably didn't sign up for. But granted, that's not necessarily the company fault because hey, if they're having trouble getting welders and things of that nature, they're gonna to try to get you by any means. But uh, just, just keep that in mind. Yeah, so it's rough in the field, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your clothes are always gonna be filthy. It's just all sorts of all sorts of things you may not expect running these boiler tube outages. I mean you seen one of the videos I did post maybe some years back when I was out there in Ohio running that boiler tube outage. That was a small outage. That was not as big as this outage that I'm doing out here in, uh, in Georgia. And a lot of you guys know the plan I'm talking about. But, you know, hey, I like to get out there and, and get, get cruddy again, you know, every now and again. But, hey, <laughs> this was a rough one, baby, a rough one. But, night shift. And one of the things that got me was uh, I had to let the, this, I don't know who he was. No, I'm not going to talk about it. It's all good. But hey, just keep that in mind. Whenever you come out here to do a boiler tube outage, and if it's a big outage, just expect, or if it's a big plant rather, expect to do a lot more than just weld pipe. You're a fitter, you're a boiler tube maker, and you might be a welder last. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's getting late. Later in the later in the night, I think it's about yeah, it's two thirty. You know, how you stay up so long, you all of a sudden you just feel silly. <laughs> I got that feeling, but um, yeah, it is what it is, right? What a life to live, man! The life of a journeyman. Always somewhere new. Always something else going on. But hey, it pays the bills, right? That's what they say. That is what they say. But thanks for tuning in. I got some special things coming up for you guys. Stay tuned to the uh, the channel, mygoldenarm.com, and also christanner.com. I got some special for you guys, so be on the lookout and look out for the cookout.